So, as I'm sure many of you are aware, the old potato uploaded a video showing off a few minutes of BMX Street's gameplay and I thought I'd just kind of have a look into it, analyse it a little bit. A lot of people seem to like the other video I made analysing the footage from the game in the trailer, so I figured I'd do that again this time. So just to be clear before we get going, I'm really positive about the game. Like, there's one or two little design things which I'm slightly curious about, but otherwise I'm definitely going to get it. I'm definitely going to have years worth of fun out of it. So kind of take everything with a pinch of salt and just see it as an opinion and me pointing out some things which you may not have noticed or I just kind of feel curious about what other people think about it. Oh, and before I get going, do watch the Old Potatoes original video. I'm only going to be looking at little bits of this. I don't want to just leave it playing and react over it. I hate that sort of content. So do watch his video first and then come back to this. And I'll pick out little things that I'm interested in. So one big initial takeaway is seeing some of the uh, traversal stuff. We have seen little bits of it before, but this is kind of like a longer look at it. And it looks pretty good, to be honest. I'm not sure if it will be as extensive as scoot which lets you do like backflips and front flips and stuff like that but still getting on rooftops accessing hard to reach places it's going to be a lot easier than it was on pipe because you have to do like the low gravity cheat or other weird ways of getting on top of stuff so this is a big help so one of the big things that's a difference with pipe is all the transition stuff it's been revised a lot and flows a lot better like you wouldn't be able to do anything like this in pipe or maybe if you got extremely lucky and got the speed and angle and a bunch of stuff right you could maybe do it but here it seems like this stuff flows tons better some people may not like it because it seems more automatic but in terms of just riding bowls and that sort of stuff it's going to be way better than before so another thing that i was noticing throughout this and i've also noticed it a lot in previous kind of videos and things of the game is this kind of a filter over everything it's kind of like a somebody in the discord server said like a mexico filter like whenever Mexico is shown in TV programs and things, everything's like slightly beige or brown. There's not a lot of like greens and blues in the color palette, which is definitely something I noticed as well. And I guess it's a design choice. And if that's the way MASH wants to do it, then that's fair enough. But there are some moments where you look at everything and it seems like it's all kind of in the same tone. It would be nice to have a bit more greenery. So just as an example, I'll just click randomly throughout this video to show off what I mean. Like if you look here, the general palette is, I guess, browns and beiges and whites for the most part. Let's just click somewhere random. This is inside, so it's maybe a little better, but again, a similar palette. We'll maybe get some, yeah, okay, things like this. The water for the most part is kind of a murky color. The sky's not that blue. Buildings are all kind of brown, orange, gray-ish, but all of the grays also are kind of on the yellow side. Let's go forward again. Again, very similar palette throughout. This is actually uh, one of the more colorful areas. Like you do see some other color tones, which is nice to see. Some greens, oranges, still fairly similar, but you know, here as well, like all the buildings as a whole, around the same kind of color. Let's see if we can find any other options. Actually, nighttime does seem to be different. You do seem to see different colors at night. So that is one thing, but it's mostly the daytime stuff. You see like, it's a very similar colour palette throughout. So unlike something like Skate, where there's a lot of variation between areas, I think this is kind of a tonal thing throughout the whole game. For me personally, I'd like a bit more colour, but you could always use reshade or mods or some other way of changing the colour palette, so I'm not that stressed about it, but it was one thing that I noticed a few people were kind of bringing up when they were talking about the game. It kind of looks a bit bland and lifeless, and I think that colour choice may add to that a little bit, but I don't know, I don't mind it that much. This little section here shows off some transition stuff again, like doing stalls. All of that stuff flows really well. It doesn't look magnetic and kind of jank. It all flows together really nice. The way it did like a little nose into this at the start was also really clean. It looks really natural. And yeah, look, no signs of magnets. It all looks really flowy and natural. So this sort of stuff's gonna be kind of a big addition to the game because that stuff could never be done easily or very well before. So I'm really excited to play around with this stuff and it'll actually get me using Transition a lot more. Another example of the Transition here, like some of the crazy variations you can get into stores. It's going to be pretty interesting what you can figure out doing this sort of stuff. I'm really excited about this. 
In the previous video, I did talk about the world looking a bit open and very like wide with not a lot of stuff in there. And this is maybe one clip that shows that off. There are some spaces that are very wide open and not a lot of objects in there. But thinking about it and also looking in the Discord with Mash and maybe the old potato saying stuff as well. To get this running on 120 frames with PlayStation, Xbox and everything, there are going to have to be some corners cut and Mash is a solo dev. So there is a limit to creating a city and having it completely full of things. So I think there's areas that will be more dense. Actually watching this video, there are some more dense areas in there, which kind of like, I don't know, it made me feel better about it. So I'm less stressed about that at this point. I can make it work. And also with like the filming and various things, you can make it look pretty good in the end, I think. To some people not having NPCs and cars is kind of a big sticking point. But to me, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really stressed about that. I kind of like doing these sort of things by myself anyway, or just having like multiplayer, having other people riding around will be enough for me, but it could be a sticking point for you. Another thing that I thought was kind of impressive and we saw it a little bit more here is grinds. They feel a bit more natural. Like you see at the end of that grind there, he was turning to the left before it was fixed. You're kind of locked in position and you leaned left and right a little bit, but it looked really stiff you could say, but a lot of this animation and all the stuff throughout this video flows really well. There's no real sense of magnets. I'm guessing they're there somewhere. It's just, it's way more natural than it used to be. And that's going to be a big boon to the game, I think. So here we see some of the kind of bigger street wide open areas, which I guess is a little bit noticeable when there's no cars and people on them like having streets this wide. Well, it is a city, so it makes sense, but it's just slightly empty, so that may bother some people. I don't really care that much. But looking on both sides of the streets here, it looks pretty full out. Like there's plenty of things to do on either side. The bits that are in the trailer looked a little bit more bare bones, so I was a little concerned about that, but seeing all this stuff, like there's plenty of ledges, rails, there's a lot of skinny ledges everywhere, which is gonna suit me pretty good, especially like bent ones or curved ones so a lot of like rail ride hard kind of manual balance tricks will be in here so I'm gonna have tons of fun with that stuff another thing that shows kind of the more natural grinding here is I presume none of this is with magnets or again it's just not noticeable you see on this feeble the wheels kind of slipping and moving around a little bit and this 180 into the crooked as well is just flows perfectly I presume this doesn't have the magnets on or whatever that assist is, which means you're going to get a lot more natural looking grinds. A little look at this section. Maybe shows off some of the problems people may have with the streets or the kind of the connecting bits in between major sections looking a little bit sparse. But again, like, I don't know, thinking about the logic behind it, I can accept it. Maybe having a few benches in between would be nice, but you never know, that could, stuff could be added in later, or maybe it's a bit too much, especially for consoles to have that in there and keep the frame rate stable. So it's kind of a tough balance. And also one thing to note is, Mash is kind of adamant about saying this is one seamless map. Something like Skate 3 isn't seamless. So th the ability to kind of pull this off and get it running well is a feat in itself. And I guess another thing about this clip, thinking about it, is the overall muted tone, except for the pegs, which are like the single source of bright colour here, which is kind of interesting. Looking at it from this angle, you definitely see the colour palette in play. You also see how kind of natural the grinds look. So good and bad, but I don't want to go on about the colour scheme too much, but it is kind of one of my bigger takeaways about it. It doesn't matter in the end, or we'll figure out a way around it, or maybe you just get used to it in the end. Like Mash has played this for like thousands of hours at this point, getting the game to this point, and he clearly wanted it to be this way. So I assume it'll be fine. I don't know. This is a spot I've been curious about since it first appeared. This like gas station. It looks really cool at night. If you've seen that clip, I think it was in the other react video that I did. I kind of brought it up as an example. But this seems to me like a perfect spot for like a spot session video. If you've seen those that I make where I focus on a specific area, try and get as many tricks out as possible. It's got a cool vibe to it. And also you notice the bright red. It is like one of the more colorful areas. And of course I kind of skipped over it, but this stall, 
is something that was never possible in pipe. It kind of gives you another way of interacting with objects, something that you could never do before. And I'm really excited to see how these turn out and how many different variations we can get. This is a really dumb thing, but you notice how that bike's actually moving? I don't know if it's multiplayer or if it was just on a slope, but do you think you'd be able to like grind on that or bonk off it or do something? Because that would open up a load of weird creative things, like having an object rolling down a hill and you hop over it, or you're like frozen in place while that rolls towards you, you hop over it in place, or I don't know, there's a million different things you could do. I am curious how your interaction with other objects and people are. Could you bonk another person on the head, maybe? I'd like to try. Hopefully it works. One complaint I have seen, which I don't know, I don't stress about it too much, is you notice the kind of wrists get bent at a funny angle for some tricks. It was the same in one of the pictures as well, but when you're playing it at regular speed, you don't really notice this sort of thing, so it's not essentially a big deal, but you know. I'm not really the sort of person to farm for comments or like ask people what they think and blah 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 and all that kind of nonsense that a lot of YouTubers do, but I am curious to see what people think about this kind of environment, say as you're playing solo. Does this feel lonely to you? Do you care? Is it a big deal? Like, it does look a bit sparse, admittedly, but I don't know if I care that much. It's just the way it is. And if you've ever played Session, like, if there's NPCs, I turn them off because they get in the way. The AI always ends up being a bit weird. They walk around unnaturally. And it ends up feeling more lonely because it feels like you're playing a game with a bunch of weird AI robots walking around. It doesn't feel populated or anything. So I'm not really sure if it would make much of a difference. I know some people are really demanding it, but considering all the extra effort and I don't know, what is the payoff in the end? Spot the 360 to grinds as well. That's something you could never really do in pipe because the game just never really worked that way. I don't know if it was a bug or just the way it was, but it was very rare that you could get a clean version of these sort of tricks. So again, that opens up a lot more possibilities. You see this skinny little ledge on the left here? There's tons of those around from what I can tell, so you know I'm going to be all over those. I thought this was a nice little plaza that was worth... I don't know, is it a plaza? What is it? Something that's out there which this could also make for a good spot session video. This alone would have a bunch of different gaps, grind combinations, all sorts of weird things that would go on. So it's nice having these sort of little concentrated, maybe more technical areas out there. These are the things that I saw and kind of made me a bit more relieved that the city wouldn't be all that barren, or that there would be kind of more technical spots to ride, which is good for me. I thought this was really nice as well, the ability to stick to things as you're going down them instead of just sort of flying off. It's kind of a problem in skateboarding games and BMX games up until this point. Adds a bit of style. You see all these little like hops and things? It feels like you can customize them, do little tweaks, things here and there to add a bit of style to everything. Something you couldn't really do in pipe because the animations were fairly stiff. So that's also another good thing, I think. But I am interested in seeing how these kind of, I don't know what you call them, like pumping transition or pumping slopes. It works with grinds as well from what I hear, so I'm interested in trying those out. Another cool little thing which you may have missed is these little power slides or skids or whatever you want to call them. Little ways of adding style and a bit of something unique to a line like this or just going downhill. It's gonna, yeah, add a lot of options, I think. And especially if you play around with these into grinds or out of grinds or on top of ledges or whatever, there's gonna be a ton of different ways that you can kind of show off your own style, I think. Another thing, showing off the physics, riding directly into a grind, being able to do a 360 and locking back into that middle bit. Shows a bit more of the flexibility that we have now compared to like the stiff animations that were there before. So theoretically, you could run into anything and maybe start a grind, even if it's like a really tall slope or something like that. Also, imagine riding up one of these things hitting a wall ride on that bridge down into the bank. There's tons of options for this sort of stuff. I'm, I'm going to go wild when this comes out, honestly. Another fun little thing is this. Just being able to throw your bike over something and then climb over. 
especially when it comes to edits and things like that, having these kind of more creative ways of expressing yourself or just showing random things off. You could throw your bike at another person. You could jump onto something and maybe jump on your bike. We don't actually know what the animation is from here to getting on your bike. I don't know if there's like a getting on the bike animation. Maybe not. But there may be some interesting things we can do with that as well. This bit was cool as well. 514 to a grind. I'm pretty sure you couldn't do those in pipe. Unless you like really glitched it out or did something really weird to get it working. And this last bit was the toothpick. Like hanging over, getting the 360 out. That looks so good. So if we have a closer look at that toothpick, you see he's really hanging over and then he flows naturally into a 360. It's really smooth. Again, something you could never have with pipe and it's something I'm really excited to play around with more. The different ways you can use the physics to change grinds, add some style to them, go into different grinds from here. There's going to be so many different options. And basically, that is it. Honestly, there's not a lot of new stuff to talk about here. There's not many new revelations. It's just kind of showing off things a bit more. Got to see a bit more of the city and it does look denser in places. So that's one concern that's maybe lessened a little bit. For some people, maybe the color tone is something I've noticed as well. But I am curious how people react to that, if they want it to be a bit more colorful or not. But in the end, I do think reshade and things will solve that, at least on PC. I don't know about consoles. And yeah, I said it at the start of the video. I'm super impressed with it as a whole. It's only nitpicky, very small stuff at this point. Like it's a single dev. He's made a city with amazing physics. It's like the most thorough physics we've probably seen in a game of this type. So it's going to be a good experience, whatever happens. If it's anything like pipe and even a slight improvement, I'm going to get years worth of content out of it. So don't take this as a negative. It's just pointing out some things and maybe keeping people's expectations in check a little bit because, you know, it's been in development for seven years. People expect the world out of it. In reality, it is still a game. There's going to be problems and things, but that's natural. It's still going to be a fun game. But yeah, I am genuinely curious to see what people think. What do you think of the world and what do you think of the color palette? They're the two main things that I'm curious about. Otherwise, it seems perfect to me. I'm going to love it. Can't wait for Friday. And yeah, I'll be releasing a ton of content when it comes out. Also, if you're waiting for the El Toro spot session video, that will be coming out either Monday or Wednesday. I've actually got a few videos which I made in the past and I want to get it all out before Streets comes out. So uh, we'll see how that goes, but it'll be coming soon. Anyway, enough talking. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.